Hi, everyone. This is real estate coach Craig Proctor, and welcome to the Craig Proctor Real Estate Show. Uh, today, my special guest is Nancy Braun. Nancy Braun is a superstar in the Carolinas. Uh, she's centered in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, but she works both North and South Carolina. Nancy, thank you so much for coming on to the Craig Proctor Real Estate Show today. Thank you for having me. I'm honored. You know, uh, you've been around for a long time inside the Craig Proctor system. Why don't we start there? How did you find me and uh, how long you've been with us? And let's talk about uh, what's changed in your business. Those are a lot of questions. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I've uh, found you, I think it's been a long time, but at least um, 14 years ago, I started my own company in 2008. So just about then is when I reached out to you and, and joined Craig Proctor. Um, I, I was an originally a recruit from Bob Zachemeyer days. So um, I had been entrenched in the, the REO world and uh, joined Craig Proctor to help me with the retail side of the business. You know, the market's changed so much, Nancy, and you've experienced uh, wildly different markets. You know, you mentioned REO. I mean, you've been doing this when nobody could sell a house to, you couldn't find a house to, to sell. <laughs> you've been in yeah. all these different marketplaces. The market is uh, is obviously uh, uh, changing back to something that you're familiar with, uh, you know, and a lot of real estate agents uh, who got their license in the last 10 years have only seen up, up and away. Um, you're changing your strategy uh, always, uh, always with the marketplace. What do you think is uh, going to be the big changes that you're going to make uh, going into the new year? Well, we're all challenged by lack of inventory. So that's where we're always fake, fo focusing on how do we get more homes to sell? Mm. Uh, that's our struggle. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping that uh, the, the inventory comes back and we have more to sell and, and more to buy. Um, but um, I've, you know, always been re uh, proactive. And that was part, part of the Craig Proctor system is teaching me to be proactive. So I'm ready when the market shifts, I'm ready for the changes, and I'm not reactive. And so that's what we're working on right now is making sure we have systems in place to generate more listings and greater opportunities to um, have more inventory to sell. Yeah, so we are going to be revisiting a lot of the strategies uh, okay. that we we used uh, in, a, in a down market. So uh, if you want to be super successful, you have to understand the market's always going to be changing. Your approaches is, is going to change. And uh, you want to hang out with people that are successfully adapting uh, as the market changes. Um, now, not only, uh, you know, you've been hanging out with me, Nancy, for a long, long time. Uh, tell us about the Craig Proctor members, the people you meet that's... Uh, been very supportive of your success. It is. It's such a great group, and uh, they they really care about each other, and they sh they're they're great sharers. And I think that's what's evolved with Craig Proctor is you have reached out to your top performing agents and helped bring their knowledge and their information to the table for all the Craig Proctor members to um, learn from. So uh, I, I've seen that grow and grow and grow. So now you have at your conferences or any of your materials, it's the other agents that are successful that are sharing their top secrets and we, we can all copy them. That's the master of Craig Proctor's, just learn how to copy. Uh, that's right. Uh, if you're a good copier, you will succeed. Um, everything that you want to do in real estate has already been done by thousands of Craig Proctor members. So, um, you know, plus not only what to do, uh, the attitude when you're hanging around with people that are winning and want to win, uh, you know, makes a big difference to your attitude and how you think about things. Uh, and it all starts with how you think about things, right? How you think about things, what you believe is possible is going to control what you do. And it's going to control how you handle failures. And mm -hmm. in real estate, um, you're you're going to fail <laughs> until it, you learn how to do it better. Now, you're, the first thing that you really figured out that you cracked the code on here, Nancy, was lead generation. And in the beginning, you you did what we all do, which is uh, you tried to uh, cover uh, all the buyers and all the sellers, and uh, you made a lot of money doing that. But at what point did you realize, hey, I really need to get serious about evolving from a solo agent to actually having a team and a business? Yeah. So when I started my own company, uh, I, I didn't see it coming, but we hit the recession right in 2008 when I opened my doors. 
So I had you were, you were thinking perfect timing, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and it's smack, smack on me. It really hit us. And uh, I had a flood of REOs that I had to uh, list and sell. And I regret, regrettably, was not set up with enough agents to handle all the leads that came in. Mm -hmm. So I saw, uh, I was just, you know, managing the inventory I had, getting them sold, but all the leads were falling to the ground. And so I said, never again, I'm going to have this set up. So when it goes through another round, uh, I'll have agents to handle my overflow of leads. And so uh, I've always focused from the day one I opened was marketing, marketing, marketing. And I knew I used to own a restaurant many, many years ago, and I knew marketing was my failure. You know, I needed to spend more time marketing and less time in the kitchen. And now, the same thing didn't you have marketing. a law? Didn't you have a law degree as well? I do have law degrees. Okay, yes. so so, yeah. so you've been a, you've been a lawyer. You've owned yeah. a restaurant. You've been a real estate agent. Now you own a real estate company. So you've you've done a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And I have a property management company. Yeah. Cool. Um, okay. So you, you start hiring people. And in the beginning, of course, um, you know, we make all the mistakes uh, that, you know, when you're doing something for the very first time, uh, but you've learned an awful lot. You and I were having a conversation uh, before we got started here about what a great job you're doing with virtual assistants. So uh, let's, I guess we'll start with this. Let's, first of all, before we get to what the virtual assistants do and why they're a, a huge asset and everyone should be interested in learning um, what Nancy's doing here. Let's look at your team structure now. Are you involved in uh, meeting with buyers and sellers at this point, or is that delegated pretty much to the team? Most of it's delegated. There's some that are, are past clients that I still right. work with. Okay. The majority so, is handled with the agents and the team. So Nancy has spent uh, like decades with me becoming uh, a master of marketing, I guess is the terminology I want to use. Uh, like she really uh, is a great marketer. And what that means is she can create an abundance of buyer and seller leads, regardless of what the market's doing. Okay. We're changing the strategies, no matter what, if it's not market down market, doesn't matter. Nancy always has an overflow of business. And the way the business is handled and correct me if I'm wrong about any of this, Nancy, but uh, the administrative team uh, takes care of everything pretty much that you don't need a real estate license for. The leads come in uh, based on uh, Nancy's efforts. The leads come into an inside sales agent team. Right. And, and then she has outside sales agents. So in the beginning, uh, what I used to do as I made the mistake when I started hiring agents of trying to give the leads right to the outside sales agents, and of course, uh, you know, the leads wouldn't get called or maybe they would, you know, maybe my outside sales agent, I give, I give her 10 leads. She called two or three and run out and list a house, but then the other eight never got called. So we realized a long time ago, like this is 25 years ago, I created the position called inside sales agent. So the leads come into the inside sales agent, the leads are contacted and they're qualified. And if uh, if it's a you know qualified, ready to act, motivated buyer or seller, then appointments are booked for the outside sales agents. So I want everyone, if you're in the Carolinas, listen up because it sounds too good to be true. But uh, literally, this is how your your uh, business or life would work if you were working with Nancy. Um, Nancy would say, "Okay, let us know." Uh, when you're available every week. So if you know if you want to take Thursday night off or Saturday with your kids or whatever, you would book that out. But if you don't book yourself out, Nancy is going to start loading up your day timer with buyer appointments and listing appointments. Okay, not leads, but actual qualified buyer and listing appointments. Now, you're also going to receive uh, the very best buyer presentation and listing presentation. Mm -hmm. Okay, because uh, we want you to win. When you go out there, if, even if you're interviewing other agents, we want you to be victorious, okay? So Nancy, in, in addition to paying for all the marketing, paying for the inside sales agents to call the leads, set up the appointments for you, Nancy spends an enormous amount of time coaching and training her outside sales agents so they're highly productive. Obviously, the more money the outside sales agents make, the more money Nancy makes. So she's uh, she's tied into your success. Now, 
if you got into real estate because you want to make more money and you truly want to have more time in your life, which is really freedom, right? Having the money and time. That's why most of us get into real estate. If you're in the Carolinas, you want to pay attention to what Nancy's doing. In fact, I would recommend that you contact her at least to have a conversation because I promise you this, Nancy would not bring you, she would not partner up with you unless two things were, were, uh, were going to happen, which is you're going to make more money and work less. If she didn't believe that would, would happen, she wouldn't bring you onto the team because she has other opportunities. So um, now why wouldn't someone do this? Okay, why wouldn't someone want to join Nancy's team? Number one thing would be ego, right? Uh, I want to work on my own. Um, they see it like, well, if I worked with Nancy, I would be, you know, what, give, giving up on my own dream or I would be, at, here's a biggie. I would be admitting to, you know, my friends or family or the other agents in the office that I can't make it on my own. Look at this is, none of this is true. You certainly, all of you can make it on your own. You're doing it right now. This is about you uh, making it better, <laughs> not on your own, but making it better by working on a very highly productive team so you can make more money and work less. Now, part of Nancy's team, uh, they don't live in the United States. They're virtual. Okay. I mean, today we can have people working anywhere in the world. So let's talk about, um, now, now understand this. Let me repeat this again. Okay. If you're in the Carolinas, you do not need to call Craig Proctor. Everything that you want to do in real estate is being done in the Carolinas right now by Nancy Braun. If you're outside of the Carolinas and you want to do what Nancy's doing, then you call me. Okay. And I'll 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 show you what I've showed, what I've showed Nancy to do. Okay. And you can book a call with me at proctorcall.com. So just my name, proctorcall.com. Now, when we're done here. Uh, towards the end of it, I'm going to have Nancy give her contact information. Do not call her unless you are you are serious about learning how this works. Okay, um, you know if this isn't for you, you you're probably not even watching this anymore. But I assume if you're still watching this, you're interested in um, how you can make more money or do what Nancy's doing, right? If you're outside of the Carolinas, you're anywhere else in the United States or Canada, um, and you're struggling with how do I create a real business instead of having a you know poor paying job as a real estate agent, we have the blueprint here for you. Okay, so let's move on to the virtual assistants. When did you first start to hire virtual assistants? 2008, and I, and, I the, the first uh, hire is still with me. Excellent, okay, so that's a long time, 2008, and still with you, so that means it's working. Yes. And how many virtual assistants do you have right now? I have 12. I know before we we started, you were counting them up. You're like I was eight, to count 10, 12. Them. <laughs> okay. So uh, why go the virtual assistant route? You know, uh, old school is I want, you know, people administrative people to come into the office. And I want to look over their shoulder. Uh, what attracts you to this? There's so many reasons. Uh, mm -hmm. Number one is loyalty. They're they're committed. They're loyal. They, they show up. Uh, the, and they um, have, uh, you know, low job turnover. So they stay as long as you treat them right and they right. are in the right position for their skill set, they'll stay. Uh, so uh, hiring people uh, in locally, I've, I had a ton of turnover and it was very painful. And, and you know, if they don't show up, no one's answering the phones. Right. Um, so um, there was a lot of reasons to hire a virtual. They, they work uh, any hours you want. So if you want, uh, it, you know, uh, I hire a lot of people from the Philippines and obviously the, the time is the opposite, but they're used right. to working at night for American clients. So you really have figured out how to make money while you're sleeping because while you're sleeping, <laughs> it's it's daytime over there. Um, okay, so I found the same thing. I've got some virtual assistants. Uh, some of them are, are uh, conducting, helping me conduct this interview right now. And uh, I really like them. Uh, they work hard. Uh, like you said, if you treat people right, uh, you've, you've got longevity. And, and so, uh, you know, it's something that I want everyone to be open to is you're not restricted by people that live in your local area. And some of you may have had problems attracting people. You may have had tr uh, trouble keeping people. Uh, there may be a sense of entitlement. Uh, so we, we, we talk about 
how to get the right people on the bus here. Okay, uh, as an entrepreneur, it's very time consuming and it, it takes away your focus when you've always got to be, you know, recruiting and training the new person. In fact, uh, how many of you watching this can relate to, uh, you've got somebody maybe right now on your team and you know, maybe they're not the right person, but because you're an entrepreneur and you, you know, you're, you've got the blinders on and you're looking forward and uh, you, you just want to focus on the positive things. What happens is we end up keeping people on the bus that we probably know shouldn't be on the bus. How many of you are guilty of that? Okay, right now, yeah, there's somebody just because, you know, you, you, it's not that you don't know they're not a, a great fit, but the hassle and the time uh, to replace that person is, is huge. So you put up with less than what you could have. Now, um, but what if we made that easy? What if it wasn't as difficult to replace somebody? Um, you know, and maybe they are doing a good job and they just leave you one day. And, you know, that's that's happened to uh, everybody right now. You're kind of in a mess because who's going to do all this work? So we have to make it easy to uh, replace people and create an environment where they stay. And uh, you always want to be upgrading your team. You know, if we take a, a sports team analogy, even championship teams, they don't rest on their laurels. They're not like, oh, okay, we won the championship last year. Uh, no, they're always trying to improve. Now, Nancy, you've been through up markets, down markets. What are you doing right now uh, to adjust to this marketplace so that uh, you, yourself and your your team are uh, you know less affected, let's say, than the other realtors in your marketplace? We're always just improving our systems and processes and training. It's constant training. So it's not that we're doing anything very unique. Um, we're just always improving what we're doing. So um, I always have a steady flow of leads that are coming in. That's just because I, I have the systems and processes already in place. Um, but, uh, but, you know, I was on a meeting right before this podcast uh, with uh, my one of, one of my teams. And we're always working on how to improve it and how to, you know, correct things, uh, just kind of, you know, what did we do? What could have we done differently? What could we do differently going forward? So it's not like we're recreating the wheel or anything. We're just improving our systems. But this is such a huge part because a lot of real estate agents think, well, if I join a team, well, a lot of real estate agents, if I back up, they think like, well, where I hang my license should be just the place where I get the best split or That's maybe, right. they'll, you know, maybe they'll give me leads. There's so much more to being successful in real estate, um, including the coaching and training that we're talking about. When you come and you work with Nancy, because that's why you work with Nancy, okay? You're partnering up with her. Um, you're getting uh, a very solid education, decades of experience and coaching and training that, you don't get from other brokerages. And I know, I know every brokerage says, oh, we provide training, we provide coaching. No, they don't. Okay. And, and many of you know this, you've been from brokerage to brokerage to brokerage. Uh, but being part of a, a unique team where you've got a very specific role to play. You know, none of us can be good at all the different aspects, all the different things that we need to do in real estate. But if you're the type of agent that really likes listing houses, and really likes working buyers, if we could isolate that you are only doing that, if we could take everything else off your plate, right? We're talking about once you list the house, you're not running around at Home Depot getting the keys cut. You're not installing the key box. You're not taking the picture of the house just because you like to take pictures of the house. You're not making the feature sheets. All of that is taken care of. You would be a money making machine, okay? You would be going, uh, you're, you're doing a couple things. This is what you're doing. You're either listing houses, you're, you're uh, showing buyers, buyers houses and getting buyers signed up to contracts, or you're being coached and trained by Nancy on how to do more of it. Okay, that's, that's basically what you're doing. So tell us about how you train the team. How often do you get together? What's that look like? Well, we have a, a right now, because of COVID, we started doing remote uh, Zoom meetings on uh, Wednesday mornings. And in fact, last week, uh, Todd Walters, we pulled up uh, his recording on how to do a listing presentation, which, which he's like the master at it. 
And I, I can assure you, before, I was at a large brokerage before I started my own company for 12 years, and I don't think anyone showed me how to do a listing presentation. And here I can take advantage of the Craig Proctor recordings from your conferences and show the whole team how to, how to do that and provide the PowerPoint. So we're providing the, 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 the structure and how to conduct the meeting, how to show up, what to say, what to do, um, the script and the PowerPoint presentation so that they actually can succeed. And we also provide uh, the pre-marketing package being overnighted to the seller before they even, they get the bomb. So they get everything to, to ensure that the agent's going to get the, the signature and get the listing. Right. So for those that aren't familiar, uh, Nancy just said the bomb. Okay. What is the bomb? Okay. Well, this, this goes all the way back to 2004. Yeah, with my first platinum group, uh, what we were brainstorming, what we were working on is what kind of package could we deliver a day or two before our listing appointment, deliver to the seller a few days before, uh, that uh, if we can get the seller to look at this, it would be so convincing on the strength of the marketing uh, that, of what we drop off, uh, that would it make it, it would make it really easy uh, for the seller to make the right decision and list their home with us. So this pre-marketing that's done, okay, uh, basically um, loosens the lid, so to speak. It, it pre-sells the seller um, so that they are uh, more predisposed to working with our agents before they show up. And in the best cases, uh, your agent shows up and, uh, you know, ready to sign the listing, right? That's well, right. you're actually getting phone calls in the office that are like this. Um, yeah, uh, we want to list our house. Not we want to interview agents, not we're thinking about it. You know, come list me. Uh, that's what we work hard to get on. So uh, this has been years and years and years of Nancy working with us to perfect this thing. So um, Nancy's the entrepreneur, okay? She's the chief marketing officer. Now understand, um, Nancy's not delegating marketing to somebody else. Okay, this is very important that all of you understand this. She's not like, um, you know, buying leads from this company or that company. She's creating her own leads. This isn't scraped information. You know, somebody goes to Zillow, they're not like um, indicating they want to move. And that lead, uh, if we want to even call lead, scraped information has been given to a number of agents and, and mortgage brokers. Uh, this is not that. Okay, this is not cold calling. This is not door knocking. Uh, this is not calling crappy scra scraped leads that that most of you, are, some of you anyway, are buying. This is about Nancy dedicating really decades to understanding um, and making huge investments in the community, so people know who she is. Okay, uh, she has credibility, uh, they trust, and she has authority in the marketplace. You get to leverage off of that. That's right. Okay, you get to leverage. Nancy could not physically, it sounds ridiculous, I know, but she physically could not, even if she tried, even if she wanted to, she couldn't go out on all the listings. She couldn't work with all the buyers. Okay, now, Nancy's mindset, though, is how many homes could I sell in the Carolinas if it didn't have anything to do with me actually working with the buyers and sellers? So let me ask all of you watching this. How many sellers could you work with if it had nothing to do with you? or how many buyers, right? That's Nancy's vision. So you all get to benefit from this uh, because she needs strong agents, okay? And even if you're newer in the business, um, you can be trained and coached up on this. Actually, sometimes it's easier for Nancy and I if we're working with newer agents because, um, well, you might wanna write this down. Experience can be your worst teacher, right? Um, somebody that's been in this business for a long, long time has a certain you know preconceived notion about how real estate works and what to do. So the first thing that Nancy uh, would recommend is you leave all that at the front door. You know, come on in, be open minded to a completely new way using smart modern marketing uh, that replaces cold calling and door knocking and chasing and rejection. So if this sounds of, of interest to you. Um, you want to have a conversation with, with Nancy. It's a conversation, folks. There's no downside, even if you're not in the Carolinas. You know, Maybe you want to move there. I don't know. But uh, what would be 
Nancy, the best way uh, for for realtors, serious realtors, uh, to reach out to you uh, to learn more about this opportunity of partnering up, potentially, no commitment here, but just having a conversation with you. They could go to our website, greatbrokerleads.com, or they could call 704-997-3794, set up an appointment to talk to me. 704-997-3794, or they can email me directly, nancy at showcaserealty.net. And we'll take all that contact information and we'll we'll have it in the comments below. Okay, so if you miss that, you're driving your car or whatever, don't worry, it'll be down below. And if you want to set up a call with me, it's proctorcall.com. So just my name, uh, no space, proctorcall.com. You'll uh, go to my Acuity Day Timer, you'll book a book of time in a day, and we'll have a conversation about how you can do what Nancy's doing in your marketplace. It's a, it's a free call either way, whether you contact Nancy or you contact me. But I would say you're watching this for a reason. You know, uh, maybe you've heard of me, um, maybe you haven't. If you're in the Carolinas, you've heard of Nancy. Very approachable, okay? Set the ego aside and say, maybe. You know, none of us can know everything right? It, what if this is true, that if you were to partner up with Nancy, you could actually make way more money. Uh, you could have more time for your, you know, your family, your pastimes, your hobbies, um, and just really have more freedom in real estate. I mean, that's why you got into real estate in the first place. But for many real estate agents, it's the opposite. They trade way too many hours every week for not enough money. They're stressed out. Um, you don't need to recreate the wheel. As Nancy says, it's about copying. Everything you want to do in real estate has already been done by Nancy. All you got to do is copy what she's doing and uh, she'll lay it all out. Plus, you'll get to meet all the other superstar members on our team. And, sh um, you know, she'll just introduce you to her other team members and say, um, you know, how would you like to be like this person or that person? We can share like what their income is and how this works. Now, who's this is who it's not for. If you're the type of agent that, you're not really like a doer, an implementer. Uh, if you're not coachable, okay? If uh, if you're not coachable, it, this wouldn't work, okay? Because this is a very proven system and you'd have to be willing to learn the system and be coachable and, and show up. Um, so if you're uh, kind of a know-it-all or you've got a negative attitude, um, yeah, this is, this is probably, you know, don't call, <laughs> right? This is for those of you that um, understand what we're talking about. You get it. This is the way real estate's going. I mean, I wrote a book on this with Todd Walters. It's probably like eight or 10 years ago. You can buy the book on Amazon. The book is called The Death of the Traditional Real Estate Agent and the Rise of the Super Profitable Team. Okay, so like 10 years ago, we wrote this book on, hey, this is how things are going down. It's going to be, there won't be a solo agent. Okay, it's going to be very difficult. You're finding that right now. Um, you know, now that the market has shifted, okay, and um, houses are not flying off the shelf with 15 offers in the first uh, couple hours of it being listed. Now the sellers are going to be, you know, really um, selective with what real estate agent they use. They're not going to uh, perhaps list their home with uh, their hairdresser that has a real estate license part-time, okay? So uh, the market is shifted and we're gonna find a lot of solo agents are gonna be forced out of the business, okay? Some of you might be going, good, like they, they should go. We have way too many of them. That's right, the water hole is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So the, the herd is gathering around this water hole. And Nancy and I have always made great money in down markets, in, in many cases, we actually increase market share because we don't stop doing the right thing. We double down on it while other agents are being pushed out of it. So that's what the book was about. The book was about in the future, you're going to have to make a choice. Okay, If you're a solo agent, you're going to have to uh, decide at some point to be competitive. Do I want to start my own super profitable sales team like Nancy Braun? She's been at this for 20 years. or do I just, would it be better just to join an established team and not have to spend all of the, the time and the money figuring it out? Um, be part of a super profitable sales team. So I want to leave everyone with that thought. Uh, as 
the complexity of real estate is rising. Okay, we've got way too many real estate agents right now, and they are literally being forced out of the business as interest rates go up and prices go down. I want you to think about a lot of sellers right now are not going to sell if they bought, you know, if they bought during the pandemic and they've got a two or three percent mortgage. They sell right now, they got to get an 8% mortgage. There's going to be a lot of sellers who's like, well, I don't need to sell. I'm not going to sell. So we are going to have less volume in 2023. There'll be less houses selling. Okay. Um, not good for real estate agents, right? If there's less houses selling. So, you know, if um, if you said to Nancy, uh, how's the marketplace overall? She might say, well, there's a lot less houses selling, but my marketplace is going, is going great. Okay. So she's going to keep increasing market share. So it's the opposite of what you think. This is the opportunity right now for Nancy to expand market share. Sellers in the Carolinas are like, I need a good agent. I need the best agent possible. And uh, the marketing budget is there. We know what to do uh, to attract super motivated buyers and sellers. And that's who we need to focus on. We can't be focusing on the seller that doesn't have to sell or the buyer that doesn't have to buy, specifically the type of marketing that Nancy's doing right now is calling out to the seller that's going through a divorce, the seller that's been transferred by their company, uh, the seller maybe that's behind on their payments, okay? Uh, the seller that, how about this? Um, it's a cash buyer. The affluent buyers and sellers are least affected by uh, a downturn like that. They don't care what interest rates are because they're cash buyers. This is what we want to coach you guys up on is how to do the piece of this business that will make you the most amount of money in the least amount of time. So um, we're running out of time here, but I want to thank everybody for watching this. And I want to thank uh, Nancy for hanging with me uh, since uh, 2008. It's been a great run, but we're just getting started here. And your expansion, uh, I mean, you just keep expanding and making it bigger and better regardless. Remember, 2008 was a lot worse than the real estate market right now. And that's when Nancy started her brokerage. Um, anything, any final thoughts uh, you want to add to this, Nancy, before we wrap up the interview? No, you did a great job uh, expressing everything. Uh, you know, the agents that join uh, our team or any team that's led by Craig Proctor Coaching really get the full advantage of all the tools and the marketing that you provide and guide us and train us. So it's ongoing learning. And just like you said, the agents that I want to attract are the ones that are coachable, teachable, uh, because it's a whole new way of thinking of real estate. Well, the good news is, is those are pretty much the only agents that are still watching this. Okay. Agents that are, <laughs> uh, you know, that, that are, that are watching me. If you're following me, okay. If you're following me, you're seeing my stuff. Okay. Whether you want to or not. Okay. Um, you've been pixeled. And, uh, you know, I might not know your name or your phone number yet, but, um, but social media knows who you are and you're going to see a lot of our stuff. So if you haven't, uh, if you haven't uh, uh, turned on notifications, if you're not following me, make sure you do that. Uh, okay. So whenever we go new, because every week I'm interviewing another one of my superstars, um, every uh, Wednesday I go live on Facebook. So if, if this intrigues you, uh, make sure you tune in. I want to give you ample evidence uh, that this will work for you, just like thousands of other agents in the in the Craig Proctor system. Okay, and I, I want to uh, make sure that if you're in the Carolinas, that you don't miss a, an opportunity on uh, just picking up the phone. It's a, folks, it's a conversation. What would be the downside of picking up the phone and having a car? If, if it's ego or whatever, push that out of the way and just say maybe. Okay, give Nancy a, a call. Uh, she'll tell you how it all works and. If it's not for you, that's fine. You just keep doing what you're doing. But um, you know, don't uh, don't give up on the opportunity to at least evaluate uh, what we're talking about. So I want to thank everybody for uh, for tuning in to another episode of the Craig Proctor Real Estate Show. Uh, big thanks to Nancy Braun. Uh, continued success, uh, Nancy. I know you're going to have another great year, and yeah. uh, we'll uh, we'll talk to everybody soon. That concludes today's episode. Thank you.